Yo, what's up guys, my name is Mr. Freeze 2244 and welcome to the Provocateurs Elusive Target Arcade Contract. Only this time we'll be covering all three levels for Silent Assassin and we'll be doing it with our optimized routes and optimized equipment. So we'll be using all the best routes and uh, all the best equipment to use for these particular Elusive Target Arcade Contracts. So for level one we have the Prince and the equipment I've chosen to go for this one is we're going to start in the Harbour location, we're going to bring on the Seeker 1 we're going to bring along a lockpick, and we're going to bring along a lethal poison syringe. The Cardinal's security team has locked down the Sapiens On the very start, we need to head to the church, so that's where the target is ultimately, to ultimately going to be. And we're not actually going inside the church, per se, we're actually just going to hang around the outside. But, which is really easy to do. So you need to come around into this building here. Use your lockpick on the door behind this guy. Come out of this door. Be careful of the uh, the guard that's hanging around the area. And as we come through this door, we just need to shoot your target once with the seeker one. Now he could be standing in a different location for you. However, if that is the case, just wait for him to get into a, a nice spot so you can shoot him with the seeker one. And then what's going to happen then? He's going to head to the bathroom, and the only bathroom available around the area is over here. And some people are asking me as well. Can you distract his guard with this sink over here? And the answer is no, because it wakes this guy up here. And yeah, it causes the distraction instead. That's the reason why I just showed you there. So you're better off just coming into this bathroom here and using this sink. Because what's going to happen is the target is going to go to the bathroom in here. And the bodyguard is, should come in as well after. But because we created that second distraction with the sink, uh, the guard is going to hear the sink and he's going to go over to investigate the noise. But just before he comes in the door. The there we go. That? So as the target's being sick, you can use a syringe on him or you can just drown him. It's up to you. Contract once you've done that, all we need to do now the is just head to an exit. It's, to it's just it's just that easy. But you will need the seeker one for this to work, of course. But yeah. Overall, all three of these contracts, uh, or, you know, all three of these levels, I should say, are very straightforward. When you obviously know what you're doing. It's always easy when you know what you're doing, right? There we go. Silent Assassin. Really quick one for uh, level one. So moving on to level 2 is the loser tag that we've taken out recently and that's the gun runner. And for the gun runner, the equipment I've chosen for this one, we're going to try something a little bit different for this. We're going to start undercover as a janitor. We're going to bring along a seeker one again. Bring on a lethal poison syringe and an electric key hacker or a scrambler, whichever one you may have. From the very start, what we're going to do is go downstairs and get the consulate car keys. Like a staff key kind of thing. That's going to unlock a car that's going to be in the garage itself. You may not want to do it this method. You may want to start in the consulate car uh, garage and get a, a disguise if you'd like. But doing it this way, you need to grab that key. And then you need to head towards the garage itself, where your target is going to be. Now, with this disguise on, uh, you're going to be uh, in hostile area, basically. So this is not a good disguise for down here. Interpol has an ongoing operation to apprehend the target. Go ahead and use your and key card on this door. Is amongst the target's guards. Next, we're going to stay crouched and get behind this pillar. So now, we need to get into a position where we're not getting seen as we're doing this. So when there's no suspicion meter on your screen, just go ahead and shoot your target there. You need to create a bit of a trajectory there. Prediction. To take out your target. But once he comes over to be sick he is going to be isolated. Now some people have been complaining about these guards here as well, so what we're going to do is shoot the guard on the left right there. And that's going to send him away to be sick as well, so there's no way that you can uh, get caught syringing our target. There we go. So what we're going to do now is to stay crouched as you're running through here. Stay close to the wall. I'm going to take this car right here as an exit. Again, if you think this is too risky, just feel free to start in the consulate garage 
grab yourself uh, one of the guards disguises and then carry on doing what I just did there. Use a seeker on the target and use a syringe on him. And then all you gotta do then is just run back to the bizarre entrance exit and you're free to go. So the only reason I did it this way is because I wanted to do something different this time. But yeah, that's how you do level two. Level three, we have the black hat from Paris and this is a relatively straightforward one as well. We're gonna start undercover at the Yaga auction, bring along a pistol, bring along a lethal poison syringe, coin, and in the empty attic room, we're gonna have the Kalma 2 tranquilizer stored inside the room. I've been unable to gain any information about the whereabouts of the target. So this is, However, I think this is the quickest version of this target I've done. And um, I saw no reason not to do with this method, so I'm gonna go for what I'm doing here. So what first, what we need to do is get ourselves a guard disguise, a Cicada guard disguise. Go ahead and put his outfit on. Grab this wrench right here. And there's a lot of enforcers for this one, so you just need to be wary. So there's no real good discard up here. But once his guard goes around the corner, we need to keep an eye on that guard in the back. Once his head is not looking in this direction, we can go ahead and knock out this guy on the left, then throw the wrench at the guard over in the distance. Take out our pistol, shoot the camera out. Pick up the key card off the floor. Go ahead and use the keycard on this door. Once we're in this room, go ahead and grab the Camel 2 tranquilizer out of here. I'm going to use it on the um, on the guard. I'm going to use it on the white cap. And then we're going to syringe our target. Then we're going to destroy the evidence. There you go. Use the keycard on the door. And then we're going to head to an exit. So I'm going to take the helicopter exit, but you can put your suit back on if you'd like, and then head to the main entrance for an exit if you'd like. It's up to you. But I'm going to take the helicopter exit. There is a couple of enforcers around the helicopter, but it should be fine. Now, if you are following where I'm going, hey, what's up? You just uh, before you slide down this pipe, just make sure that you have highlighted the vault option and not the push option, because if you push that guy over the ledge, that's your silent assassin ruined, and that's it. You won't get another chance to do this contract for another 12 hours, oh, yeah, so just be okay, wary of that. Just doing. make sure don't the option of vault is on the screen this before you cool. actually jump okay. over. Now, once you've done that, head over to this helicopter, exit mission, and there we go. Silent assassin 4, level 3. So, yeah, I don't think I've done that on this particular contract. It's a lot of knockouts, to be fair. It's quite messy, but it, it's one of the things that is quick in and out, done, get it over with kind of thing. But yeah, there's multiple methods I've done for this target over the over the years. But yeah, there we go. So, assassin for level three. That concludes the provocateurs. So thank you very much for watching. Feel free to drop a like on this video if it helped you out. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. And hit the bell notification to be notified of all future videos and live streams. Consider supporting me on Patreon or even becoming a member of the channel by clicking the join button below or clicking the link in the description. And a big shout out to my Psycho Assassin members, Bedry, Wandering Wendy B, Constantine Mueller, Mark Davis and Paul at home for becoming top tier Psycho Assassin members. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Cheers.